Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GT Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be building the 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 from Gone in 60 Seconds. Now, like I've said in previous videos, I'm so happy that Rockstar has released this Vapidelli, aka the GT500, because the GT500 in real life is my dream car, especially the 67 version of it, because this film, Gone in 60 Seconds film, made me fall in love with Eleanor, aka the Shelby Mustang GT500. But anyway guys, if you are following me on this build, you need to go to Southern San Andreas, superwarriors.com, go and purchase your Vapid Ellie for $565,000, meet me back in Ellis Customs, and I'll show you how to do the rest. So you go my bros, as you pull in to Ellis Customs, you'll see the Vapid Ellie is in the muscle category. And as you can also see guys, my Vapid Ellie has already been customised because this is my custom version from my review build, which I've done a couple of videos ago, so if you haven't seen that already, why not go and check it out. Uh, so I'm only telling you this because, as you can see visually, it is different, it isn't, it, none of it is stock, and uh, the armour, brakes, engine and all that sort of stuff are already going to be upgraded. Uh, but I will be going through them again like I, like I usually would. But just so you're aware, they've already been purchased. So without any further ado, guys, let's get straight into it. So as always, we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to purchase race brakes. Then for the front bumper, uh, we're going to stay stock, I believe. Yes, we are. We're going to stay stock for the front bumper. For the engine, guys, you are going to the engine and purchase the level 4 engine upgrade. Now for the exhaust. As you can see, I've got this stock exhaust with custom hood. Uh, the Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds has a side pipe. It isn't like this, unfortunately, but it is a lot closer than, you know, a rear pipe. So we are going to go with a side exit, and we are going to go with this side exit exhaust with the custom hood. Then we're going to go to the lights, headlights, and purchase the Xeon headlights. Next, we're going to go to the livery. We're going to go and grab this classic twin black stripe. So next, we're going to go to the respray primary color. I think I'm going to stay classic for this. We might go pearlescent. I'll just have a quick look, see how it looks as a classic yeah I th even though I've got a livery I think I'm gonna have to go metallic on this because it's not getting that uh, that metallic shiner that, that you want so we are gonna go metallic and then once you're in metallic you are going to purchase this dark steel so then as you can see we've got the sun strip and we do have one applied at the moment but we just have to remove it then we're going to move to the suspension. We're going to get the sport suspension transmission. We're going to get a race transmission and turbo tuning. Then we're going to go onto the wheels, guys. You want to go into wheel typing into sport, standing stock rims, and then you will go and purchase these rims called Venom. Once you purchase them, you want to make sure that the wheel color is an alloy. Whilst we're here, guys, you want to go into tires and into tire enhancements and purchase the bulletproof tires. And to finish off the build, as always, you're going to the windows and purchase the light smoke window tin. So you go, my bros. There is my variation of the 1967 Shelby Mustang GT500 from Gone in 60 Seconds. Now, as you can see, this vehicle is very, very close to the Shelby Mustang from Gone in 60 Seconds. Um, obviously, it's got different parts from different cars. I think it's got different parts from different variations and different um, generations of uh, Shelby Mustang. Uh, so, overall, it's definitely a Shelby Mustang GT500, uh, but it's not necessarily the 67 version. Uh, it might have, you know, different generations of the Shelby Mustang inside it as well um, but like we know Rockstar doesn't really use just one vehicle as inspiration they take bits and pieces from other generations of that vehicle or just different cars in general like they did with the Elegy Retro Custom they took all different types of generations of the Skyline they took the R32, 33 and 34 put it all into one and they come up with the Elegy Retro Custom and they've pretty much done the same thing with this they've taken you know the 60 65, 67, 69 versions of the Shelby Mustang and they've come out with the Vapid Ellie. Uh, but overall guys, I'm actually really impressed with the way it looks and if you've watched my review build, you'll know exactly how it drives and how I feel about it. Um, but for this build, I'm actually really impressed with the way it looks. I'm so happy that Rockstar have actually released it. So now we have Eleanor in the game and uh, yeah, really, really happy with it. But as always guys, you let me know what you think of this car build down in the comments below. It's always appreciated. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.